More children are on the internet, they're even online in the classroom. And as the use of technology grows, so does the risk of illegal activity. In a special report tonight, ABC 17's Dan Massinio actually discovered some mid-Missouri children are using their iPads supplied by their school to send naked pictures of themselves. In Missouri, it is a felony for a minor to send another minor a naked picture. It's considered promoting or distribution of child pornography. Boone County Cyber Crime Task Force tells me officials usually don't charge these teens with the felony. Most likely, officials will send the teen to the juvenile office and contact their parents. But law enforcement tell me a major concern and danger is that these pictures can easily get into the hands of sexual predators. And that's not the only issue. Officials tell me these students are also using the iPads to watch pornography. The vast majority of behavior problems in the classroom involve minor breaches of discipline. Educators in today's technology-driven classroom are concerned less about slingshots and more about a growing problem in many school districts, sexting. This is an epidemic and they, they're doing it on any device. More and more teenagers around mid-Missouri are using school-issued iPads in the classroom. It gives them the knowledge and the technology to uh, get their work done quicker and uh, a lot better. It seems to come in handy when it comes to doing schoolwork, and, uh, you know, I support it totally. Many parents say the iPad is a great addition to a student's education, but some students use the technology for something other than learning. And they're sexually graphic conversations, and then it usually turns into naked pictures of themselves. Detective Perkins says the issue of sexting is more pervasive than schools and parents might think. One study shows as many as 40% of teens say they've sent a sexually suggestive text. About half of those teens admit to sexting or posting a naked picture. 15% say they didn't even know the person receiving it. As a parent or as a school, if you're going to give them internet access, we have a responsibility. And the responsibility is to monitor the traffic and what's really going on on your internet. It's a responsibility that Columbia Public Schools take seriously. But like many school districts, there are issues. We've had students that have used the iPads inappropriately, um, but we do have a number of protections in place. CPS gives iPads to fifth graders. The students keep them through middle school and get new tablets in high school. CPS students have been caught sending sexually explicit pictures of themselves with the iPads. Officials tell me police have had to confiscate iPads from students for that reason. You can lose the iPad, yeah. Um, it could be that certain things are shut down on the iPad. It just depends on the level of offense and what has taken place. CPS can turn off the iPad cameras, remove applications, or limit functionality. But administrators say many times the sexting happens with a student's own phone or tablet while on school grounds. We have a lot of conversations with our, with our students about um, how they need to use technology appropriately um, and what is appropriate. One mid-Missouri school district gives iPads to all of its 800 students. South Callaway County School Administrators say they take an aggressive and proactive approach to iPad education and regulation. We've decided to take a much a greater stance. It'll be a much bigger part of our school day and uh, it'll be every year for every student. Superintendent Kevin Hillman says having iPads in the classroom is a balance between giving students enough internet access for learning but not enough to get in trouble. Hillman says currently iPad security is tight and they teach responsible usage. Instead of hiding behind it, having uh, some penalty for something that goes wrong, let's get out in front of it and get all the information out in front of it for everyone. Several states are trying to curb the issue of sexting. As of January, 20 states have passed sexting laws. Everything from charging minors with a misdemeanor to requiring them to attend counseling. Missouri has no such law, but a few legislators are pushing for texting education. You send the wrong text message, the wrong picture, and once those things go out to like the World Wide Web, they're out there forever, and they can come back and get you in trouble later in your life. House Bill 501, co-sponsored by Representative Clem Smith from St. Louis, says the bill would add information about online predators and the consequences of inappropriate text messages to sex ed classes. This is a problem that's not going to go away. Children are impulsive, and we try to teach them to do the right thing, but in the reality, 
when it's behind closed doors or they're trying to seek out some type of attention or whatever might be the, the cause of it, they're going to do it. Detective Tracy Perkins from Cybercrimes Task Force says these explicit pictures sent out can also attract dangerous attention from those wanting to harm the students. Perkins says schools are behind when it comes to regulating iPad usage. She tells me in many cases, students have too much access. She says it comes down to an easy decision. What's more important, freedom on the device or the safety of the kids? Dan, thank you. And House Bill 501 that was mentioned in the story there has passed the House of Representatives. If it passes the Senate, of course, it goes on to Governor Nixon.